inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross. Hello guys, welcome in the video. Today the thing that I have got is a Pickshock 2.4.8 and Radiolink SC100 GPS module. So for the sake of time, let's begin this video. Now I am going to open this box. Are you ready? Ta-da! As smartphones, the main almighty Pickshock is right at the top. Mm. It is quite securely packed. Thumbs up to you Radiolink. The futuristic hexagonal shaped gap right to it is for its partner. <coughs> Saying partner, I mean new 8M GPS module, which in my case is empty. It has a big white arrow and a bright LED to indicate front, one reset switch on its left, one on right with a micro USB cable to connect it to the computer. It has 16 servo rails on its bottom, in which 6 are auxiliary, 8 are main out, and 1 is RSSI, which I don't know the use of, and in the last, 1 RC in, which connects to the PPM or Aspers receivers. Let's see what else we got. We got a plastic packet, instruction manual. This shows where the electronic components will go on the pick sock. It also has a warning sign. So please read it carefully. I repeat, please read it carefully. And yeah, it's all what we got inside. Watch till the end to see the progress on my big UAV. We got a power module with XT60 connectors. This will power the pickshock and its accessories and also measure the battery voltage as well as current to activate fuels and features. A very flexible silicon wire to connect power module with Pixar. Some big double sticky foam to prevent Pixar from any possible vibration. A small buzzer. A very disappointing small safety switch. And in the last but not the least, we get 4GB of 6th class micro SD card in a plastic enclosure. We need to put this in the pickshock before mounting it on the model. And in the second box, which I got together as a single unit, contains a Radiolink SC100. Wow! It has a very futuristic hexagonal shape with its Radiolink branding and its model number on its side. All of these lines light up and make it look very cool. It looks wonderful if you look on it at night. The GPS is sent with a aluminium non-foldable stand which is pretty good. Double sided tape to connect the GPS with its stand. And in the last, a adapter wire if you want to connect it with other flight controller or APM. And that's all we got in the box. The thing that I did not like is this GPS stand which does not have anything to hold on. So we must use glue to hold them in place. To see its actual performance, I went out and connected my Pixar with my laptop. By the way, I have already mounted it in my big modulator. After opening mission panel and clicking connect, oh my god, did you see it? It instantly got 3D fix right after clicking connect. It certainly blew my mind. Guys, it's unbelievable. I instantly got 16 satellites within seconds. Is it real? And yes, the sky is not too clear and clouds are all over. Don't you think it's quite impressive to get 16 satellites on this condition? After, after watching this, I highly recommend this product. So if you want to purchase this product, I will place the link down in the video description or in the video comment. If you are from Nepal, then you can contact me through my email. Hence, as promised, this is my big multi rotor which is almost ready to fly. Enjoy! Let's 
लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब इट्स फ्री गाइज डू इट